I'm gonna go ahead and keep it a buck and say that I believe this pandemic culture is going to last a few years but the people over there at the Daily Star don't believe so because they posted an article called the roaring 2020s will be post vaccine sex fest in an era of vice and indulgence so what essentially that means is I read the article and it's saying that because we are basically quarantined and there's no human interaction at all going on um, between our day to day right now and it could be a whole nother year if there's more shutdowns it could be two three more years who knows but after that people are going to have so much pent up frustration and and excitement that once everything's lifted the 2020s are going to be a time where people are going to want to go out and party and uh you know have a uh, alone time with each other with random people and just go around and just try to be close to people form interactions hang out with people you know things like that that's essentially what it's saying and i could see where this is this could be a reality because people who are shut in all the time they go crazy once they go back out and people may go crazy in a positive way where they have parties and stuff like that or they go crazy in a, in a negative way like you know just really bad stuff happening in the world such as mass shootings or violence things like that could be the other effect of this i think that we're going to be like this for a while and i think even a year or so after everything's been lifted i think people are going to be more cautious like the one thing i always think about is the masks when will people just suddenly start taking them off like all together and and if they say we don't need masks anymore the the pandemic's over will people just remove their masks all at once I, I don't know, because at my job, I think I would still have the mask on for quite some time after that, just to be sure. And a lot of people, I feel like, would be slow to remove the mask because you're so used to them. But I think for people who forget those masks, and, and instead of having to run back home and grab one or buy a new one, they're probably the most happiest because they don't have to have it anymore. So I think that it'll be a gradual slowing down of, uh, you know, getting off that COVID vibe, the uh, pandemic vibe. And then there might be something to this article because people are just going to go to the movies and sports events and, and they, like they did before uh, before all this happened, but in much greater numbers. People probably who are usually staying in and, and, and shut-ins and stuff, they probably will go out a lot and have a lot of fun. So the Roaring 2020s may be crazy. It, it may be a place where people go out to have fun and people stay home to work online and stuff like that and if jobs move to an online sector then this could become a reality much more now the whole uh, sex fest thing i don't think that's gonna happen because people are going to be still cautious about you know diseases and stuff since that's been a heavy thing lately but uh it could be a possibility i don't know i i i think that people will be more up to going out instead of staying in that's gonna be the majority of what's gonna happen so be careful when COVID restrictions lift. Be careful going out there, guys, because you don't know who's going to go out there after many years of staying staying in dormant and slumber. You know, you never know. But the Roaring 2020s, I dig it. I uh, I, liked, uh, I like reading about the Roaring 20s and the 1920s. I'm a huge history fan, history buff, so I loved reading all about that. So I could see a cool little parallel between that and this. Anyway, let me know in the comments below what you guys think is going to happen once COVID restrictions are finally over. Will people continue to stay in or will they just run out there and have a party in the streets? Let me know. Hit that like button. Subscribe. This is going to be Sunscape signing off. Take care, guys.